favorite one. Another great one. We saw this in the studio. Uh, John Wellington, congratulations on your show. Thank you so much, Charlene. <laughs> now, tell us just two minutes about your wonderful work and what inspires you. Um, I think what inspires me is I always want to paint things I find beautiful. Uh -huh. But having said that, there's a twist because I live in the real world and I always know that there's a, another side to the coin. So sometimes even while I'm painting things that are beautiful, there's always maybe a more subversive element. And I would say this series of paintings is very impure in its conception because I feel like the way I live life now with the internet and with seeing all the movies I want to see and there's so much information that it's hard to just be satisfied with taking a, taking a still life and just painting that and feeling that that's how I relate to the world because it's not how I relate to the world anymore. I think, and actually, Charlene, it's like your photographs, when you're photographing all this sort of mixed graffiti and the wheat paste posters, it, it's not about photographing one image, it's about how all the images mix together. And I'd say that, in a way, like the walls you photograph, that's sort of how I see my paintings, although they're sometimes cloaked in a more formalistic and classical setting. Wow. Well, I love your work. Yeah, and I we wish love you it. All the best and good luck. Burning water tanks. I can relate. <laughs> <laughs> that, was that was an unfortunate vision I had while doing laundry one day in my stairwell. I looked out and saw the water tank, and uh, and, and the rest is art. <laughs>